Hello, my name is Rob Powell and welcome to this short video on how to move your blog posts from page two to page one of Google. In this video, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you how to find your blog posts that are stuck on page two of Google. And I'm going to show you how to improve the click through rate on your SEO titles so as to move those pages up from page two onto the first page of the search results. And the way we're going to do this is by using power words in your SEO title. Power words create eye-catching titles and eye-catching titles get higher click-through rates and higher click-through rates result in higher rankings in the search results. Just to be clear, your SEO title is the title of your article as it appears in the SERP snippet. Although I said we're going to identify your page two articles, we're actually going to be a bit more aggressive than that. We're going to identify any of your articles that are lower down than position three in the search results. And the reason for that is that there's a really marked drop off in terms of click through rate as you move from position three to position four. The top three positions on Google get a staggering 75% of all the clicks on page one of the search results. So position one gets an average click-through rate of 31.7%. Position two gets an average click-through rate of 24.7%. And position three gets an average click-through rate of 18.6%. So there's a huge benefit in terms of traffic if you can push your article into the top three positions. So there are two things that drive high click-through rates in titles. The first is specificity. And that means being very specific, either about who you're addressing or about the thing you're talking about. So for example, if you use the word you and your, click-through rates rise dramatically. Here's an example. Link Building 101, the only guide you need. Another example how to build your email list fast. Another way to be very specific is to use numbers. For example, how I increased my traffic by 537% in five weeks. The second trigger for high click-through rates is emotion. The psychologist Abraham Maslow identified eight fundamental desires of human beings. One, survival, enjoyment of life and life extension. Two, enjoyment of food and beverages. Three, freedom from fear, pain and danger. Four, sexual companionship. Five, comfortable living conditions. Six, to be superior, winning, keeping up with the Joneses. Seven, care and protection of loved ones. And eight, social approval. A simpler way of putting it is that all human beings, however rational, however well-educated, are constantly doing one of two things. We're either avoiding painful experiences or we're seeking out pleasurable experiences. And that's what power words do. They trigger those basic unconscious responses we all have. Here are some examples of power words. Alarming, amazing, better, brutal, catastrophe, critical, detailed, dynamic, easily, explosive, frustrated, fulfilled, genuine, guaranteed, harmful, hidden, important, intriguing, jeopardy, and jumpstart. You can download a complete list of power words in the links below this video. So although power words increase click-through rate from the search results, you do need to be a little bit careful when using them in, the, in your SEO titles. And the reason for that is you need to be careful to avoid headlines that overpromise and underdeliver. Never write an SEO title that falsely represents your content. Why? Because your visitors will quickly leave your web page when they realize that it doesn't deliver what you said it did. That's a bad outcome in itself. But it's worse than that because Google watches user behavior. And when the algorithm sees people leaving your page within a few seconds of landing, 
it concludes, the, alg the algorithm concludes that your page did not answer the query. And that's going to make your page rank lower in the search results. So um, now I'm in the um, keyword, in the SERP Watcher part of Keyword Finder. So um, SERP Watcher is a, a suite of tools and uh, this is the one I need or we need for this uh, part of it. So click on that, SERP Watcher. And um, uh, we're now going to apply a filter. So the minimum position, for minimum position, enter four. And for maximum position, enter 20. And that's going to bring us every keyword that ranks um, from position five down to position 20. So it's everything on the second page and everything on page one of the search results below the third position, position three. And then click set filter. And uh, so here, here we are. These are the words that I'm going to be looking to um, boost or to improve their ranking. Um, so let's, uh, what, here's one. What about, uh, let's take this one, silo structure. Um, so I'm just going to copy that. And then I'll head over into the WordPress dashboard and um, do a search on that keyword. And so this is the title, um, the, the blog post title that I want to um, improve. I want to improve, I want to improve the, the click through rate on that title. So um, copy that and head over to CoSchedule's um, headline analyzer tool. And we're just going to drop that in there. And it, it scores uh, pretty low, a 64. Um, and we're trying to get it um, to at least 70. So I know that complete is a, is a power word. So let's try that. And that gets a 68. So that's a slight improvement. So let's make a, let's um, add a benefit into the title. Um, and we'll see what that scores. Seventy. That's good. So we're now in the green at least. Um, but let's see if we can do better. Let's see if rank higher scores better. Nope. That um, drops in score. Let's leave out the website part. Maybe we don't need that. And we'll just say improve your SEO. Oh, that's good. That's uh, the highest score we've had so far, 72. Now, um, I'm going to drop, I'm going to remove the benefit from this line because I'm thinking that if someone types in how to create a silo structure um, on their website, they already know the benefits, otherwise they wouldn't be typing it in. 
So that's always try to think and put yourself in the shoes of the person who um, typed in that query and what you can assume about what they know already. Um, so let's go back to how to create a silo structure. How to easily Let's see what that scores. So that's uh, so it's gone up to seventy three. Uh, that's good. But let's look. Let's look at the analysis of the title. Um, the headline is the right length. It's a little bit wordy. Um, Ah, now here the sentiment is neutral, and that's um, that's an area where I could improve that title. So let's look at what I like to do is um, refer to my list of power words, which is here, and you can download this list of power words from the links underneath this video. And I'm looking for um, what's called a strong sentiment word, um, a, a, a word that triggers a strong emotional reaction. So the words like instantly, incredible would be another one, outstanding would be another one, painless would be another one. Let's try proven. Proven results. Let's see what that scores. So um, that's no improvement. That's still 73. Um, let's see what happens when I take out the words uh, on your website. Wow, 77, that's great. That's a great improvement. So that's a quick demo of how to find your, um, your blog posts that rank on page two of the search results and the bottom half of page one and how to use a headline analyzer tool to improve the titles so they get more clicks. And with your titles getting more clicks, your click-through rate is going to go up. And um, click-through rate is a ranking factor, so Google is going to push your pages higher up the search results. For more help with your SEO, check out my premium online course, Page One Traffic Surge, which shows you the techniques I use to rank my articles on page one of Google. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.